Hi, again it's me, Nang here. So today, same thing, we look into a After Effect CC version and the chapter I like to uh, cover today will be a 3D space in layers and a camera control. That means we're going to enable the 3D layers and we're going to add a camera to control our animation. So this one will be a basic understanding of these two features in After Effects CC version 3D layers and camera control So as usual, we go to the new composition So I will add name here So I will put just 10 seconds and using a basic HD here, 720, and press OK. So the object can be uh, a video of footage uh, or any images, but in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to just create some uh, uh, rectangle here by using this rectangle too. I'm going to draw first. Okay, and then I change my color a bit. Okay, nice. And I click on the empty part here. And I create another one. Uh, different with a different color. Okay. And so the third one will be another one. And just use a blue color here. So you can see from this the layers here that we have in the timeline. We have the first one, the blue. Okay, of course you can change blue. And then second one will be the red. You can change the uh, layer color to red. And the last one will be this one. Yes, uh, leave it at, uh, maybe I just put it at uh, any color I can use. Uh, green color. Okay, <coughs> so we have three color here. So very easy to actually recognize it. So what we need to do is I'm going to just keep all the things simple. So the first one, blue, I just need anchor point. I just press A for the shortcut key. Just press A. We got an anchor point here. And I'd like to make the anchor point into the center of my rectangle. So X and Y, you need to adjust the value and make it a center. Okay, nice. The second one, this one, let's keep it. A again, anchor point, this one will be the red one. So make it the anchor point into the center so later it will be easier for us to control the whole animation here. So the third one, press A again, control the X, and X, and control the Y. Okay, so nicely done. So these three objects, I try to make it in the same sizes. So of course you can use value, I just use random, random, Resize it. Okay, so this one look the same as well. Okay, nice. So what I do, I just put it like here, and sometimes you will see this icon, the cube here. Sometimes you're not because you are not switching the Google here. So you switch the Google into a different uh, mode here. So and you see this is the 3D layer enable features. So, uh, the box here, so you enable three of them into 3D layer. Okay, so what you do, and we go to layer, add camera here. So this how we add camera from uh, from After Effect. Just a new layer, new and camera. So <coughs> we use a uh, 50mm, uh, very default one. So I don't need the depth view. I just press OK first. So this one will be <coughs> is is no different, but you put it on top 
or in the middle is, is actually not really, really, have, really matters about how you sequence the layers of camera one here. So after you're done, so you can have a look. <coughs> so in front here, there's a, only one camera we have here. It's called active camera. So actually we need another view. So I go in for two view. So there's two view here, top and camera. Actually you can active either uh, one. If you click on this top, that means uh, this view control the top on the left hand side. So currently it's using top here. So what you do, you go to custom view one. So you can view from uh, uh, more uh, perspective angle here. So I hold on my uh, space bar, I can move the screen. I can command or control minus, zoom in and zoom out. And this is the active camera, so I show fit to 100%. So you can see. So if I move my camera, I all mouse over here, always using your move selection tool here, select this camera here. There's a Z, Y, actually it's an X here, but too small, I can't see it. It's a bad one, I just need this Z here. You see? If I move the camera, it's actually zoom in and zoom out. So we are not animate the object, we are animate the camera right now. What you need to do is, you need to sequence this one. It's a different uh, uh, Z orientation. I mean this one, I need to go behind. And this one is a middle, and this one is a front. You can see, of course you can control from here as well. Then make it into the center. Yes, and this one is a Z as well, in the middle, okay. So let's have a look if I animate this with, uh, you see the X here, you see there is a perspective animation happening, a 3D space, Y, animation here. So very easy. I just move and just see a little bit of green here. Okay. So I just select the camera one, press P, create a keyframe at the zero here. And then I just need four seconds. And actually you can just use my camera. Go to X and pull the camera until I yes. So what I do is oh right. I just change my anchor point. So I need to undo it. I have a mistake because just now I didn't press this one you need another animation for your anchor point as well both of them so when i move camera it's actually moving both not only the see both is moving so it's, this is important you can't just move your position key from here to move both position and and point of interest both will be animate in the same statistics angle okay so when I'm playing here yeah, this is what I want here a simple uh, 3D animation using a camera control so I can just view one Okay, so that's all for this uh, basic introduction for camera and 3D layers. So I'll see you in the next chapter.